Hello friends, uh, my name is Matt and I'm a teacher from the UK and today we have a very special guest for you today. She's all the way from England, <laughs> England, the UK. So uh, this Gabrielle is a native speaker uh, but she's going to try to do some IELTS questions. Um, <coughs> she hasn't seen the questions before. How are you feeling about doing it? I feel um, a bit nervous actually. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Native speakers also feel nervous too. Um, and because Gabrielle has a little bit of an advantage <laughs> compared to other students, uh, we thought we might uh, do something a little bit interesting. Are you up for a challenge? Wait, you didn't tell me about this. <laughs> well, uh, just to make things more fun, would okay. you be up for a challenge? I'm up for a challenge. Oh, that's so good. Um, so a lot of students, they worry about making grammar mistakes. Um, do you think you'd make any grammar mistakes today? Mm. <laughs> um, you know, uh, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, um, I thought we might do a forfeit. Uh, so if you make any serious grammatical errors, you have to do a forfeit. And a forfeit means that you have to do something, uh, usually something not very nice, if you lose. <laughs> but I thought to make things fair, if you don't have any serious grammatical uh, errors, then I do the forfeit. Okay. Okay. Does that sound like a deal? That's a deal. <laughs> okay. Um, so we need to make our forfeit. Um, so let's go into the kitchen together. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. For our forfeit, we have a cup, and we've each chosen two ingredients. Um, I chose some Tabasco sauce, so let's uh, add in a little bit of that, and also some very nice balsamic vinegar, which is very nice on salads. I've never drunk it before. And you might enjoy some of this later. I chose some chilli garlic, so I'm just going to grind quite a lot of that in because I'm thinking Matt might have to be drinking this. Well, I, I know you like chilli, so uh, you might really enjoy having that later. And I chose some curry powder because Matt loves the curry, so I'm sure... Well, you know, you're practically Sri Lankan yourself, so... Uh, Okay, there we go. and there we go. We might add a little bit of water just to make it a little bit more palatable. So, uh, thanks. I hope you enjoy your drink later. Some topics are quite hard for IELTS students because <laughs> <laughs> you get things that you're not expecting or sometimes you don't know how to talk about this thing. Now, Gabrielle, you grew up in the north of England. Mm -hmm. So, you must know about farming, right? <laughs> oh <laughs> your, no! Your father, I don't know anything about farming. Your father farming. lived on a farm <laughs> for 10 years. This was in Gabrielle's adult life. Um, <laughs> how much do you know about farming? Um, very, very little. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, you don't, you don't know anything really. <laughs> no. Okay, so this will be a challenge. Um, so, what are the differences between traditional and modern agriculture? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can only guess. Um, I think traditionally people, it was very manual, um, the work um, of producing food. So people used their hands and very basic equipment. Um, but these days, um, I, I assume because I don't really know, but I think farmers have a lot more technology. Um, there are combine harvesters <laughs> um, that allow crops um, to be extracted quickly and, and seeds to be planted quickly. So I think it's become more efficient and less. Um, I guess farmers have um, don't have backache <laughs> so much these days. <laughs> so yeah, I guess labour intensity, oh, less labour intensity. That's intensive. a good word. That's a good word we could I put in. I should have said that. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. That sounds like you knew what you were talking about. <laughs> Did you well, feel very confident answering um, I that think question? You, uh, no, yeah, but I think if you make generalisations, you can't go wrong. Really. Okay. You know, don't go into too much detail if you don't know about the topic. Okay, next question. Um, a little bit easier. Do you think farming is important? Yes, of course, because um, we all need food to eat. 
Um, so I guess it's got increasing importance these days because um, people, I think, think more about the ethics of farming, mm. um, vegetarianism, and, and there are more vegans in the world, and um, and so. Ah, no, I'm stumbling. Um, I've forgotten the question now. It was, is, uh, is, do you is think farming important? Is farming do you important? Think farming? Um, yes, and probably and never more so as important as today as the population of the world gets bigger and we need more and more food, and but space is limited. Um, okay, good. How do you think people feel when they eat vegetables that they grew themselves? Oh, I think it's probably really satisfying. Um, I've never actually grown a vegetable myself, but my mum has grown... Oh, you have. There's this down here. <laughs> so we have a lovely mint plant. We have a dead mint plant. A dead mint plant. And we also have a basil plant no, that's that, now that dead. That didn't survive. But yeah, to go back to the question, um, my mum does grow um, a few things like tomatoes and cucumbers and beans. Um, she grew them in her conservatory. And eating those just um, felt wonderful because well, firstly, it's like free food, isn't it? Mm. Um, even though you had to pay for the seeds or whatever, it's basically free. Um, and secondly, just the satisfaction that, you know, I think when you've seen something I mean, here we have oranges um, just here, um, but seeing them grow throughout the year and then eating them when they're ripe in, in January is, is just wonderful and it, it feels like they taste better as mm, well. There is something quite magical about seeing it develop and change yeah. colour. Um, okay, so you mentioned um, your mum. Do people in general uh, like growing vegetables in your country? I think it's become more and more popular. Um, we have allotments in Eng England, which are like areas of land that people um, can rent or buy to grow food. And there's quite a lot of allotments. Um, but I think for young people, perhaps it's not so. I think young people maybe spend their time more going out and want to meet people and it's a bit of a generalization but I feel like growing your own food maybe comes to you more later in life um, perhaps when you've got more time or I don't know okay and do you think climate change is influencing food production in any way Wow, that's a big topic, but yes, I imagine it is a lot. How? Um, well, I know there was a documentary on television about farmers in Spain. Um, you know, as the earth warms up more, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's becoming harder to um, irrigate crops, I guess, and to... Um, Oh, this is difficult. I it is a tricky question. Uh, yeah, yeah how does and the funny change? thing is, when I when I start thinking about the answer and what I'm going to say, is I forget the question. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's hard. So that's okay because you can say to the examiner, yeah, could "Oh, you could say you that say the question again, please?" Mm. And that's mm. totally okay. okay. So that's good. Don't feel bad about doing it because a native speaker yeah, also needs really to difficult. do that. Okay. So question again is. Do you think climate change is influencing food production? Influencing. So okay. you could say making it better or making it worse. So what do you think? Okay, yeah, do you so think let me think on the, how it could... I think it's making it more difficult mm. um, because I think the hotter the planet, um, then the harder it is to irrigate uh, crops and plants. Um, could it be making it better um, yes in some ways for example England is um, usually quite cold <laughs> mm -hmm. but the warmer um, the planet gets the easier it is to grow um, different things in England that we don't normally grow um, so maybe maybe one day we'll see orange trees all over England for example so there could be some benefits benefits and there's probably 
many more that I can't think of just now. <laughs> it is quite hard when you're put on the spot, when you have to think really quickly about that. But I think you are right saying, in general, people grow crops in an area because uh, the climate is used to that. But if that climate changes, then it's going to be harder to grow those crops. And yeah, like in England now, um, there are new plants being grown, like grapes, figs even, um, that didn't grow before because the climate is warmer. So yeah, I think you covered that one. Okay, another tricky question yeah. about farming, last one. Um, how will technological and scientific improvements affect food production? I think um, technological and scientific developments um, will enable more food to be produced, mm -hmm. possibly in uh, smaller areas, a smaller amount of space, because I, I saw a program where they were growing, they were called vertical farms, mm -hmm. and they were growing um, food, they were stacking food. So usually if you imagine a greenhouse, it, it takes a lot of space, there's rows of tomatoes, but in these modern greenhouses, um, food was, yes, was stacked and so um, it took up less space. Um, I think though food will become less natural in a way, so it will have um, more preservatives, more chemicals going into it and it will possibly look like too perfect and, and we might mm. miss that really kind of authentic, you know, when you get a carrot that's all knobbly <laughs> and that's like a real carrot and um, I think that would be a sad, a sad time if uh, everything was perfect and sprayed with chemicals. <laughs> Which is basically most of our supermarkets now. <laughs> Which is basic. probably already, but it, it, it would probably be even more intense. Yeah. yeah. I guess another thing students could mention in that question would be, you know, organic food. So now we're kind of, uh, we're having uh, fewer chemicals and um, genetic modification. Let me ask you the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. well, yes, uh, how will technological and scientific improvements affect food production? Um, well, there could be uh, many facets to it, but I think in general, um, technological development will probably augment farming in a way that makes it more efficient. So, as you mentioned, um, vertical farms can increase um, the yield, the crop yields that you might get per square foot or per square meter and so that could sustain larger populations um, because the world population is um, increasing still exponentially. I think he knew the question. <laughs> I think no, I, I didn't prepare an answer. Um, it's much easier being the examiner. <laughs> I know it is. True. Um, no, these were really tough questions, I thought. Um, what mm. did you think about them? Yeah, I, I didn't like them. <laughs> yeah, I felt like it was quite difficult to, to think of answers on the spot. Mm. Um, as I said, I'm sure I'd have wonderful answers if I knew the questions before. <laughs> I just looked at them now. Um, okay, so... Yeah, so that's the end of that topic. Um, do you think you made any serious grammatical errors? I probably made loads. <laughs> I think when I, when I, especially when I don't know what I'm trying to say, it's probably very easy to kind of just say rubbish, probably. Okay, so um, yeah, just on the spot, did you make any grammatical errors, yes or no? Yes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I didn't catch any. Really? So, um, unfortunately, that means that you have, have to, to do, do your own bit. challenge, yes! Yeah, because <laughs> I think there was maybe one minor grammatical error in there, but certainly nothing major. What was that? Um, I think it was a plural. To be honest, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to edit that bit out. <laughs> I think here is your challenge. So, um, I know I usually like balsamic vinegar, chilli and curry. <laughs> but I've never really had it in a drink before, so uh, I'm not looking forward to it so much. But 
seeing that you won the challenge, I must honour the forfeit. Down okay. it, down <laughs> it, down it. Santé. <laughs> oh, I feel like you I'm going to feel like, You do look a bit sick. <laughs> okay, see you next week. Bye.